They weigh the same, but one is thriving and the other one is suffering. One of them is climbing mountains, while the other one could hardly climb a flight of stairs. One of them just needs a little bit of support, while the other one needs a proper rescue before it is too late. What if obesity is not just about how much you weigh, but about what your body is trying to tell you? Let me introduce you to Maria and Jack. They both have the same BMI, roughly around 37, but their lives is absolutely different. Maria is a mother of three children. She's a full-time school teacher. She's not completely happy with the way she looks. She's been trying to lose weight for some time. She has tried a few diets, but generally she's quite positive about this. She likes running, she runs in the weekends, and her body is healthy. So no lung problems, no chest problems, no heart problems. She doesn't have diabetes relatively healthy and positive about her life. Now, that will take us to Jack. So Jack is a different person. So he has the same BMI, but he's struggling, big deal. He's most of the time, he's very fatigued, tired. If he climbs a flight of stairs, that will be really, really tiring and exhausting for him. He will be short of breath towards the end. He's been diagnosed with diabetes and a heart specialist saw him recently and he thought that his heart is not pumping enough. So it's very weak. He's been unemployed for a few months, quite depressed in general. And what hurts more is that he does not feel that he could play with his kid football anymore. So there are two people, they have this same number on the scale. When they step on the scale to check their weight, they are the same. But one of them needs a little bit of support while the other one really needs a proper rescue. In the last few decades, of, I mean, working in the medicine, we know that obesity is generally defined by your weight. So the, your GP or doctor will ask you to step on the scale, they check what, how much you weigh, and they will calculate your body mass index. They will say, yeah, your body mass index is like that, or your weight is like that, so that you are obese or not obese. And here you are, you've been labeled with obesity, but not been given more insight about this. Now, when we come to medicine, we know in medicine that we define obesity as either pre-clinical obesity, which means that somebody like Maria, who does have some weight, but they don't, that weight has not affected, or the excess fat they have, it's not affected how they are functioned. All the organs are fine, and they don't have any kind of disability from the weight. Now, that takes us to the other description, which is a clinical obesity. So clinical obesity is like Jack. So it's somebody who has weight, but that excess fat became a disease by itself because it led to other problems that he needs to suffer with. So he's having heart disease, diabetes, his activity is very limited by the excess weight he has. Unfortunately, there is a belief held by most of the people, including people who have obesity, that it is, it's something to do with your responsibility to lose weight. So as a person with obesity, you have to lose weight because you need to eat less or walk more or do something like this. Well, why part of it is true, which means that the intervention need to be from within, the change need to be within, but it doesn't apply to all people who have obesity, particularly in the cases of Jack. So people in Jack, they are sitting in a vicious cycle. They try too many diets. They can't win on that. And these are the kind of people that will need urgent medical support and help from the medical community. They need to have other interventions to help them lose weight, apart from the usual advice of eat less and walk more. They might need medications. They might even need surgery to get them back on track and help them win the battle against obesity. Now let's return to Jack. He's now definitely better. He's seeing a team that does understand his condition, a team that's specialists in weight loss. They know how to support and help him and they've been offering him the right treatment for his obesity. He's learning a lot about his illness and he knows that it is not a failure from his went. He's winning on the illness and he is rewriting his story. This is not just the story of Jack. It's the stories of millions of people who suffer with obesity, who've not been given the right advice. They don't have the right knowledge about their condition and maybe there's been loads of delays in them seeking medical help when it is needed simply because they've been giving the right, wrong directions from people they trust from around them, whether they are relative, friends, or even unfortunately, in some cases, healthcare professionals. Now, if you are watching this and thinking, so where, where do I fit in this? Remember that obesity is not your fault, but now we finally have a way to understand it and to treat it. But how do you know if you have clinical obesity or if your body is just still coping well, 
despite the extra weight. In the next video, I will show you exactly how we as doctors assess this. So you will know what size you need to look for and how do you know which category you are falling into so you know what action you need to take.